Everybody for coming out tonight. I am Mike Schomer, I'm Associate Regional Editor for uh, Minnesota Patch, um, former local editor of St. Michael Patch. Um, just really excited to be here. Thank you to the candidates who uh, were available to participate. Uh, we will start tonight with our school board candidates and uh, just wanted to take a moment to uh, say that there is a third candidate. Uh, Mr. Sherber could not be with us tonight for uh, family reasons. So we will start with the uh, two candidates who are here, and uh, we'll, let, we'll let Mrs. Hollow start first with her five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeannie Holland. Um, I've been on the board uh, going on 12 years. I started on the board uh, when my oldest son was a senior in high school. And I have graduated five children from the St. Michael Albemarle School District. I, uh, me and my husband, Wes, graduated together from St. Michael. And uh, we're very proud now to have a grandson that's in the school district. He is at the Fieldstone Elementary School in second grade. Um, as a board member, uh, I've, the last 12 years, I've learned a lot about school finances and as, the, as we've gone along with um, the, the financial climate of the state, notice that um, we in St. Michael are getting more and more crippled by the fact that we aren't in an Edina or Wyzetta or Orono because of the uh, equity in education. Um, our taxpayers have had some um, great loads. We've had great families moving in. We're so excited to have young families because, as I've told everybody, they have saw what we had in St. Michael uh, as a good thing, and we are very proud of our school system and the energy they bring, but with kids comes new schools. So in my tenure, we have built three schools. Um, I, was, I got on board right when uh, we were finishing up the middle school and we built the Big Woods, the Fieldstone, and then the high school. Um, wonderful facilities, all thanks to um, all the taxpayers in the St. Michael Elberville community. And uh, we're really, really, really grateful for that support. Um, we're really grateful for the support of the uh, levy, uh, you guys voting to have the I have your taxes go up a little bit to help our students kind of try and get an edge on um, the school funding piece. And I've uh, been down to the legislature, I've been to Washington, D.C., um, promoting, you know, just rural, uh, rural um, communities like, like what we have, with not very, very much commercial industrial. Um, and that, that is something that really is important to me. Uh, I think we deserve what all the other metro schools have. And um, I'm, I'll work hard to keep that going. Um, the other thing I want to say is that I make a commitment, as well as the other board members, to get into the schools to visit. And last year I made all the schools and I have to say, it was really fun to make sure to, that I, you know, that to, to make an effort to get to every school. Um, but it was fun to see all the teachers and all the, uh, all the support staff and the administrators. But most importantly, it was really fun to see the kids. And I have to say, I was not surprised when we got the um, award for one of the uh, uh, best places to work in um, this for the Star and Tribune because we are it's a very happy uh, situation whenever you go on the schools the kids are happy the teachers are happy and um, that is really a, an important piece as being um, a board member because you really if if the, if you have um, uh, a disgruntled employees if you have parents that aren't happy um, then education suffers, and we definitely do not have that. It's been very fun. I've had 
we went to a lot of volunteer appreciations. We have a lot of volunteers in our school district, and uh, it's very fun to see that they're they're happy and they love to come in and, and be in uh, our school district and have their kids in our school district. So that's why I'm running again. It's uh, great to be part of this school system. Thanks, Jim. Jim. Thank you. First, I want to thank Lisa and Julie for putting this on Women of Today. Years ago, I used to be a member of the JCs, and the counterpart of the JCs and Mrs. JCs, which today is the Women of Today. So, thank you very much for having us. As is mentioned, my name is Jim Shevlin. I've been a member of this community for over 33 years. Uh, my wife, my wife, Marie, uh, she's born and raised this community, and then we have been blessed with five children uh, Teresa, Brian, Emily. Paul and Dominic, who is currently a junior in the high school, on the cross country team and on the track team in National Honor Society. Uh, part of my credentials is I've been a, and currently, and for the last two years, been a member of the Great Regional Library Board of Trustees, uh, appointed by the Commissioners of Wright County to represent the people of Wright County. It's been quite an honor and very educational. I have, for the past five years, been assistant or head baseball coach for the Minnesota uh, St. Michael Baseball Association. And prior to that, uh, I was on the St. Michael Catholic Church Parish Council for six years, uh, two years as chair and trustee for two years, and finance committee for eight years. And uh, those 14 years, I only missed one meeting. So it's very important to me to attend all the meetings and to participate as many functions as possible. The top reasons for my running is to make certain that all the students at St. Michael Arbor School will stay on target to meet the state economic achievement standards. I believe that this is done by working with the strengths and weakness of each student as they prepare for life after school. Number two reason is to ensure that we are financially responsible to the community by managing our fiscal budget appropriately to diminish any future tax increases. And I think we need to work with the city, especially, I know Jeannie mentioned about commercial businesses. We are lacking in commercial businesses in the St. Michael area. When you look at the taxes that we pay uh, and the revenue we receive from the state, it's quite low because we don't have sufficient tax base in commercial. Uh, those who have homeowners pay higher taxes per 100000 than any other place in Wright County. So that's very important that we do work with our state legislators. Uh, I've known the past state legislators from Bob McCarran, who was the football coach years ago, to current ones of so Joe McDonald and Amy Koch, and, and those that are currently running, David Simmons and Mary Kiffmeyer from Becker. Okay. It's actually from the Big Lake area. So I have acquaintances with those people that I think I can use that as a way of getting the taxes uh, more equitable for the scooters to St. Mike Everville. Serving on the STB board is an opportunity for me to give back to the district, which has given many gifts to my wife and I and my five children. My experience with this progression through the education system gives me a unique background to contribute to in this role. I believe we need to continue to make sure that our students receive an education that will serve them in the challenges of their choice of employment and lifestyle. The fact that our district is in the top academic standards in the state of Minnesota is a credit to our administration and staff. We need to continue to support our administration and staff and provide necessary assistance to enable St. Michael to improve this ranking. We need to continue our school's excellence, and so we're going to continue to work on that. My experience as a professional accountant with attention to detail at Excel Energy for over 36 years provides me with an invaluable understanding of how appropriately to manage our budgets. And finally, as uh, many volunteers, as many years of volunteering for different organizations, I feel that my experience in those organizations will help me to work with the volunteers and the staff and the people that help St. Michael School District to be the best in the state, or one of the best. Thank you.